Thanks, Rick. Um, we would like to start off by thanking everybody in Pennsylvania who heeded the governor's instructions yesterday to postpone travel. It has been a huge help in allowing us uh, to operate uh, properly all of our equipment and get our personnel to where they needed to be to keep all of our uh, more than 96,000 snow lane miles passable uh, during this event. Uh, we've seen reduced traffic and really uh, I can't say enough uh, what a huge difference it's made for us. Despite the significant snowfall across much of Pennsylvania, our crews were able uh, to keep, as I said, every single interstate passable during the entire event of this, uh, the, during the entire duration of this event. We have lifted the vehicle and speed restrictions on interstates west of Interstate 81 and on Interstates 95 and 476 in southeastern Pennsylvania, as well as the Turnpike east of Bedford. Impacted still are Interstates 70, 99, 76, uh, the Pennsylvania Turnpike, and 80 between Interstates 99 and Interstate 81. Vehicle and speed restrictions remain in place on Interstates east of Interstate 81. They are Interstates 80, 81, 83, 84, 176, 283, 380, and 476 and on all non-interstate expressways. Speed limits are reduced to 45 miles per hour and the affected interstates are closed to tandem tra trailers, empty trailers, buses, motorcycles, recreational vehicles, and towed trailers. A speed restriction remains in place on Interstate 180. Interstate 84 remains closed to all trucks since New York has closed that interstate within its borders. Our mission there is to work to ensure that trucks do not pile up on the interstate close to the New York State border. My thanks also to our hardworking equipment operators, a group of roughly 4,800 people who have been working around the clock in the teeth of this brutal weather to keep roads passable and our Bureau of Maintenance Operations staff and our Command and Traffic Management Centers also working 24-7 monitoring the changing conditions. Our crews will remain on duty well into tomorrow to make sure the effects of the late season winter blast will keep to a minimum. As a, as, as a postscript uh, to this story and to this storm, here is just one reason why I'm so proud uh, to head this agency and collaborate with my Commonwealth partners. We dispatched plow equipment today to assist state police and the National Guard to help clear a path and escort an ambulance to Geisinger Medical Center. In this ambulance was an infant who needs a heart transplant. It's another case of PennDOT joining with other state employees to make a real difference for the people of Pennsylvania. We've done what we can here at the Commonwealth, and we wish the best of luck to the doctors at Geisinger now to do their important life-saving work. And now uh, Governor uh, Wolf has some comments. Thank you very much. Thank you. So thank you, Leslie and Rick, and thank you to the 18 entities in the, in the Commonwealth that have done so much to keep our roads open and keep our citizens safe. Uh, this has been a significant storm, and I just want to make Clear, we're not out of the woods yet. It's still snowing out here in Harrisburg, and it's still snowing up in the northeast. The bulk of the storm will be ending in the northeast part of the state uh, sometime later this evening, but winds are going to increase, um, and also I think we have to be concerned about the cycle of freeze and thawing, so we still need to, to be careful. Blowing snow could make driving hazardous, so if you don't have to travel, don't travel. The, that's, that's as simple as we can be, and it's really important. And all of us, and as Secretary Richard said, we all appreciate everybody who stayed off the highways, who didn't have to go because it really made the job of keeping those highways open for those who did have to travel, it made that, that job a lot easier. To highlight some of what state agencies have done since we activated the Commonwealth Response Coordination Center, the Department of Health has been coordinating transport issues with hospitals in the Northeast as heavy snowfall rates have made travel hazardous. The National Guard has really, um, Rick, you said 900, between 600 and 900 troops on state active duty as of right now. They've been assigned 20 missions so far, mostly involving transport of medical staff, such as doctors and nurses, to places where they're needed. 
The Pennsylvania State Police continue to respond to weather-related crashes. So again, urge motorists to reduce speeds and be patient if they have to travel. In addition to minor crashes, troopers con continue to respond to assist motorists who traveled off the roadway, into ditches, things like that, who need to be towed out. In the Northeast, some PSP state police personnel have partnered with the National Guard to use and plan for the use of Humvees uh, in order to respond to calls for service on secondary roadways if necessary. Troopers will continue to monitor traffic conditions as the storm system continues to wind down and provide necessary support to keep motorists safe. Let me just end with, with one thing. I think Secretary Richards talked about uh, the coordination and cooperation between different agencies to take that 23-year-old, 23-month-old child from East Stroudsburg to Danville. And they should be arriving if they're not there already. They're about three miles out. There. Three miles out of Danville. And what, what happened was the, the child went to the hospital in East Stroudsburg and it was determined that, that he needed a heart transplant and had to go back to Danville to Geisinger to get it. And so PennDOT led the way with a plow train. Uh, the state police uh, uh, went with the group to make sure they were, they were safe. The National Guard followed up to make sure that if anything happened, uh, they could uh, help. Uh, and the local emergency responders and health care practitioners uh, made sure that, that the baby was safe while he made that trip. So they're three miles out, three miles away from the, uh, the doctor in Danville and everything is okay and that's just that's how these different agencies and organizations have worked together to keep Pennsylvania safe throughout this this ordeal we still have work to do if you're plowing at your driveways if you're shoveling off your sidewalks be careful heart attacks are a problem we need to be careful with with the health but so far these folks have done a phenomenal job and I think on behalf of every citizen of Pennsylvania I want to thank all of you for doing what you've done to make us safe so far now I'd be happy to take questions Yes, sir. Well, you see some Humvees in the parking lot out here, so <laughs> there's some here, but all over Pennsylvania. But um, would you like to? Oh, or is that a picture? They just got to the hospital. They oh, just got to the hospital. All right. Summer in Danville, Pennsylvania. But uh, where specifically have we? Uh, yeah, 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 okay. Yes, currently we have uh, units that are deployed throughout the northeastern part of the state. Um, several counties have been activated. Um, that's basically where we have them through throughout the northeastern part right now. However, they are strategically placed throughout the Commonwealth. Can you clarify again the growth rate of, of both of you know the number of, of area 81, 83, 283 um, National Guard uh, troops that can be deployed over there? Yeah, yeah, let me, uh, there are quite a number of them, so just give me one second. Um, Okay, vehicle and speed restrictions remain in place uh, on interstates east of Interstate 81. I'm just going to read them all off. 80, 81, 83, 84. Um, some of these are not Harrisburg related. 176, 283, 380, and 476. Okay. We're monitoring. Obviously, we want to lift them as soon as we feel uh, that it's safe. And uh, so we will continue to monitor. Um, yeah, I can't say uh, for certain right now. Uh, we're just we're just waiting to see um, how the winds pick up and the freezing uh, temperatures. So uh, it's not something that we can say now. But obviously, we'll lift them as soon as uh, weather conditions allow us to do so. But speed restrictions have been lifted on the turnpike west of Carlisle. Is that right? Correct. So Correct. we've already done some work there. Anything else? If not, thank you very much, and thank you again for everybody who's made, made this storm as, as uh, easy as possible on the people of Pennsylvania. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.